Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel, and we're going to be continuing with Ruby Chibi Season 2, Episode 4. The title is called Dad Jokes, so I'm wondering what that entails. This is going to be my reaction to it nonetheless, but when I think of dad jokes, the first thing I think of is like the savage joke that Tai Yang played on Yang during uh, Volume 4. So, and, and like when you think dads, you think Tai Yang, Papa Shni, uh, Gira Belladonna, which I highly doubt we'll see. If, if it was any of those three characters, I I really hope that if we do get a new character today, uh, that it is tying and it's only based on the whole dad thing. Like he is the dad of the main girls and you know, he's played by Bernie, which is the dad of Rooster Teeth. So I really, really hope we get to see at least a new character based on the title alone. Uh, but before I get into that, I just want to also say thank you so much to all of you guys who wished me a happy birthday last week, even though my birthday was after the fact of that video going up. Uh, playing off in hindsight, letting you guys know my birthday was last weekend. I hung out with my friends. We went out to eat at Five Guys Burgers and Fries for my birthday. I got myself a chocolate cake to kind of treat myself because none of my friends or family or anybody else that I know uh, actually gets chocolate cake on their birthday, and I love chocolate cake, so I ended up treating myself, getting myself a chocolate cake. Uh, for my birthday, we actually played Ruby Grimma clips over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash murder of birds. I played with a bunch of you guys. Uh, we ran through the campaign. We played a little bit of horde mode. So it was really great that you guys kind of came through and hung out with me on my birthday just because I wasn't really doing anything else other than hanging out with my friends for the day. So, uh, and I really want to say thank you guys so much. I got hundreds of birthday wishes on YouTube, on, on Twitter, on Twitch, and it just made me feel really loved and really appreciated that you guys, you know, really kind of went out of your way just to say happy birthday and enjoy all of the videos and content that I do. Uh, and another thing that I kind of want to showcase before I get into the reaction is that I was getting a lot of gifts in the last couple of weeks and I went to my PO box and picked up a bunch of things and they felt kind of like pseudo birthday presents because it was my birthday and because I was getting a lot of these things and doing an unboxing and you guys will see the full unboxing in a couple of days but I wanted to showcase some of the gifts that people got me because I thought it was incredible and if you guys are watching this video thank you guys so much so there was no name on this but someone got me a pure beanie which is super cool now like when the when the like the weather starts getting cold like in the fall and the winter I have a pure beanie that I could wear kind of representing my favorite character pure and so now on the back it has like a ruby logo uh, an individual named Paolo from the Philippines actually got me this really cool ruby exclusive figure that it's only available like like on the other side of the country it's really region exclusive it has like the uh i think this is the the japanese characters uh, on the back but it's an exclusive uh special figure ruby rose so thank you so much paulo if you're watching this i'm going to be doing an unboxing of this very soon on my channel um there's an individual her name is ashley and if you guys have fan art if you guys do fan art whether it's drawings whether it's prints whether it's paintings please send them my way I absolutely love this. It is already framed and everything. There are initials right there, Ashley. And this is going up on the back of my wall. Thank you so much for doing this for me. I absolutely love it. It's Ruby Rose. You can see like the side of her face right here, her hair. Um, this is like her cape and then the rose petals that go off. Rooster Teeth actually has a, a hoodie image of this on the Rooster Teeth store as well. So thank you so much for this. Matilda from France. This is probably the most cherished gift that I will have and that I will frame and I will keep forever. This really tugged at my heart and I, I, I can't believe how incredibly gifted and incredibly talented you are. So Ruby volume four, at the end of the last episode, Ruby was writing a letter to her family. She was writing a letter to Yang, letting them know that they got to, uh, that they reached Mistral, that they saved Crow and that they're going to meet the headmaster and everything. That letter, this girl, this individual wrote out this letter and in the front of the letter is Ruby Rose, her volume four, um, her vol in her volume four attire. Look at the detail of this. Look at this. This is incredible. And I shared this on um, my Instagram. I shared this on my Twitter. And I am going to frame this as soon as possible. I'm going to put it up on my wall and I will cherish this forever and ever and ever. Thank you so much for this. You are incredibly talented. And like I said, the letter, uh, you know, it says, hey, sis, I hope letters have been reaching you and dad. Handwritten stuff has never been super reliable, but it's all we've got these days. This is the entire letter that Ruby wrote to her family at the end of volume four. So Matilda, thank you so, so much. I love this. And lastly, before we get into the reaction, I am confirming now either RTX 2018 or 2019. 
I will be cosplaying. Uh, somebody from China actually sent me a weapon prop, so I am pleased to announce that I will be cosplaying as Uncle Crow. <laughs> Look at this weapon. This weapon looks so freaking cool. So they sent me uh, a bunch of other weapon props. I have Cinder's weapon prop. I have Ruby's weapon prop and Crow's weapon prop. And I love the detail. I love the, you know, everything. It's the, it's obviously the sword form, which is pretty cool. So I will be cosplaying, doing my first Ruby cosplay as Crow, uh, either RTX next year or the year after that. Uh, I got to kind of figure out how cosplay all works and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for making me feel loved and appreciated. And I'm really glad you guys enjoy the videos. Thank you guys for the gifts as well. And without further ado, because I I've rambled long enough let us get into episode four all right guys with all of that out of the way we're going to be starting ruby chibi season two episode four dad jokes this is two minutes and 58 seconds uh leave your thoughts in the comments and without further ado we're going to be starting in three two one now all righty ruby chibi <laughs> oh Double neptune mortals i am unstoppable <laughs> is he playing video games Oh, he when is! He what? Into this game. You have no idea. Uh oh, here oh. comes that guy who always kills you. <laughs> My nemesis, Tail Fellow. I don't think we've ever this seen Ren really interact fun. with I've them been before. For weeks. What's the plan? Serpentine. Zig, oh. then Zag, then oh. Zig again, then hit them from behind. <laughs> Look at Ren's no. face. How does he always beat me? It's like he knows every move I'm gonna make before, before I, make I make it. Before I make it. Yep. Yeah. That's the gamer life right there. <laughs> Trial and error. Oh, oh, what? Why do you torment him like that? Oh, that's messed that up. That looks like an N64 itself. controller, it's too. Like he's inside my head. Oh, Velvet! Woo! <laughs> that was a cool cheese. transition. Cheese. Oh, my God! She looks incredible. Mm. And she's got, like, her camera that takes pictures of weapons. Oh, she's doing filters. That's kind of clever. <laughs> uh, no filter. There you go. Good job, Katie. I love her voice. What's wrong with Nora? <clears throat> I'm oh, not sure. She's been like this for hours. She's eating too many pancakes. Nora, did you solve Ren's pancakes again. <laughs> Waffles. <gasps> Waffles. Oh, no. Those are twice as filling as pancakes. I guess you could say Nora is really fed up. Uh, uh, okay, uh, we should Shut probably send Guys, I think Nora bit off more than she could Oh can my chew. god. Right? Can you hey, not? This could be something serious, like indigestion. Why oh. do you do this? Hi, kids. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Ty! Ty Yang! No. The only thing worse than puns. Oh my way, god. I just want to give a big shout out to all the sidewalks oh. for keeping me off the streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just remember, I have to go iron all my clothes. And uh, I have swimming practice. Yep, uh, conquered all my fears. <laughs> I have to, uh, I was gonna, er, my thing was. Yeah, how are you gonna get out of this, dude? <laughs> with your friends. I was on a roll. Oh, it come on. probably would have been butter if you never started. Oh uh, my god, no! <laughs> Because it, it was, was terrible. terrible. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, Ty. Holy crap. And then the freaking father. I'm pretty sure she gets all of her humor and combat skill and everything from her dad for sure. Oh my god, like I was expecting it, but I wasn't at the- I was like, okay, we're super late, the episode's almost done, and then he just shows up at the last second! Holy shit, dude. I thought we were gonna get, like, I thought they were at least gonna go through the volume 2 and the volume 3 roster of characters before we got, like, Tai Yang and, you know, anybody from volume 4 at least, which I guess Ty kind of was in the end of volume 3, but he was prominent and heavily expressed in volume 4. Oh my... <laughs> and <laughs> I love the expression, dad jokes, no! And then Yang and him just like bounce off of each other with the, with the ridiculously cheesy puns, which that's Barbara's shtick, but I love the dynamic between Barbara and Bernie. Like, that's why, like, whenever I see Ty and, and, and Yang... Or Yang and Tai Yang, rather. Um, I, 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 it 
automatically it doesn't it's not it's not Ty and Yang to me that is Bernie and Barbara they have such a great chemistry together and you know that's over the years of them being on the podcast and working together <clears throat> And him, like I mentioned, Bernie is the dad of Rooster Teeth. He's like the dad of the community. I look up to him heavily as well. Um, and I, I just I just love his performance. And I love that he's here now. So we got we got Penny, we have Velvet, and now we have Tai Yang. And we're four episodes in. We're, we're, we're roughly on a one new character per episode trend. So I really hope to see where this goes. Leave your thoughts. What did you guys think about this review? What did you guys think about Tai Yang? I, I, I can't believe he's... I can't believe, like... Rooster Teeth is just like releasing all of them into the wild. I love it. I absolutely love it. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, leave your thoughts in the comments. What do you guys feel about my reaction? What do you guys feel about the episode? Thank you guys as well for the birthday wishes and all that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.